Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video. And in this video, I want to show you one of the problems that we usually face related to showing the latest day values. So whenever we are doing a reporting, the request is that based on the latest date that is there in the data set, we need to show it or based on the today's date and scenarios like those. So whenever the date is in the data set, for example, in this case, what I am having is the ordered sales order date. So if I just show you, this is a data for various transactions and we have the order date, date on which order was placed. So we want to show the sales based on what is placed on the latest date, right? Now latest date in our case, if I show you the formula that we usually put is like this. So whenever we have the latest date, we put the formula max of this date and that basically gives us what the latest date. And so in this case, the latest date is 30th December 2020, right? So what we expect is that, okay, fine. I have identified my latest date based on max date function. So you should give me the date, the sales for 30th of December. You, you basically produce this table as part of the report and give it to your user, but they complain. Like for example, hey, binders, you know, we have not sold anything on 30th, on 30th of December. So why this value is coming or let's say copiers, you know, the value that we have sold is only thousand, right? Thousand rupees or thousand dollar, but you are showing us 2880. Why? So all of this type of a question usually can come and, uh, uh, and you get confused like what's what's really going on you are doing everything right you are finding the latest day latest sales is using the formula that by taking the latest day into a variable and then using the calculate sum of sales you are saying order date is equals to the latest date so everything is fine so where is the issue well i will tell you where is the issue and before i move ahead just a quick information that all of my power bi videos i keep it in a google sheet which is this Google sheet and in this Google sheet, what I basically keep track of all of my videos and I put it out there, right? All the dashboards that I'm publishing and everything so that you can come over here, search any of my previous video or look through any of the previous video and using the link provided in column B, uh, you can jump onto that video. Also some exercises related videos that you can explore. So very easy way if you are looking to explore more and more content from my channel. Okay, so coming back to the scenario that we are having. So what I'll do is I will keep this here and this table, I will just expand this little bit. And what I will show you is what I bring, what I'll bring is the latest state. So in this case, if you see, you know, when no dimension is present, right, then your latest day is always 30th of December. But when a dimension values for subcategories are present for accessories, this is 25th December. For art, this is 29th December. For copiers, this is 24th December. So for every value, you know, has changed. And this is because of the row context. For this particular row, this is the latest value. For this particular row, this is the latest value. For this particular row, row you have 24th December as a latest value. But your, if your user is expecting that all the data should be as of 30th of December, then this is a wrong output. But alternatively, if your user is expecting that whatever is the latest date, give me the latest date and give me the value, then this output is perfectly fine, right? So now go back to the output that only values which are as of 30th of December, right? So what do you need to do is you need to come over here in latest date rather than, you know, keeping it pretty much wide open by simply specifying the max date. The way you need to do it is specify the calculate function within that the expression is max date and over here in the filter you need to just specify all and the table name in this case the table name is sheet one so what it is doing is basically saying hey whenever you are using this this measure you will not take any impact of the filter in this case the row context filter you will not take this okay so if I press enter, you will see that all of these values are now as of 30th of December. Also, the latest date is fixed to 30th of December, right? So you can see in front of you, like all the values have been removed. 
now your table is fine and the labeling you can do it absolutely perfect by putting a title uh, by saying uh, sales as of uh, 30th December right we can even make this dynamic but I will leave it for another video so the way so this way your table will always show the proper value if you don't if uh, earlier case was that whatever is the latest value I want to view that then the previous solution is fine and then you don't have to use the all function so this is one of the tricky scenario uh, which I faced and I thought I will share with you like how the row context is basically change the impact of the uh, impact of the visualization or impact of the chart that you are showing and not only this the another thing you can also experiment or check is you can get a filter and let's say you bring the customer name and you want to see okay uh, whether any particular customer has given the order on the latest date for example I want to search this Adam no value right or Aaron no value or this guy or this guy these are the guys nobody has you know whatever we are selecting they have not given the order on the latest list so basically you know what I was trying to show is it should not change the uh, the date when whenever I'm using any filter so in both way it works to give you the output as you are expecting all right with that thank you so much and I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic